Welcome, tech for all channel here. Today's topic are lens filters about drones and uh, particularly we're going to review a budget-friendly six-pack of filters produced by JSR which suits the DJI Mavic Air and of course we are going to talk about the different types of filters that you can buy. Let's go! Professional photographers will probably never go outside and shoot without a filter and there are many reasons to do so. If it's the absolutely first time you think about buying filters, it's right about time and uh, this step can greatly enhance the quality of your work, enhancing the colors, improving the contrast and last but not least also protecting the lens of your camera. If you have the Mavic Air already and if you shoot primarily in auto mode, maybe it is time to get one step further and improve the quality of your work by starting to shoot in manual mode. There are plenty of tutorials how to pick the best values and how to make the gimbal controls to be producing better cinematic footage and I'm not going into details about it. Most of the time I'm shooting the camera is in manual mode. I prefer ISO to be 100 so that there is less noise in the footage and trying to keep the exposure around zero is your primary goal so that there are no over or underexposed regions. If you prefer to be shooting in auto mode then the drone's processor is automatically adjusting the exposure and the shutter speed in accordance with the dynamics of the scene that you are shooting. I'm saying all that because it makes much better sense to use filters in combination with manual mode. The results would be much more obvious. In the next minutes you're going to see more footage which is shot with the JSR six pack of filters. This set costs around 55 US dollars and includes ND4, 8, 16 and 32, a CPL filter and a star filter. The last one mentioned is for night photography. The filters are placed in a nice box which fits well my carrying case or even in a larger pocket if you need to take advantage of the Mavic Air's super portability. Materials seem to be of good quality, attaching them is quite easy there is no lock, but the ring that holds the filter to the drone's lens is doing a good job and I haven't had any issues for the few weeks of usage with them. If you want something which is more professional grade oriented, then Polar Pro are producing wonderful uh, lens filters and they always are partnering pretty well with DJI. Uh, problem is the price. It would cost you around $150 for a six pack and there are some remarks about it. We'll talk about this by the end of the video. For quite some time I was happily living and using my DJI Mavic without any filters with auto settings. But once you start noticing the imperfections of glares, you cannot unsee that. And unfortunately most of them are not easy to fix, even in post-production and even if you aggressively try to reduce the highlights in your video. And overall the softer post-production can never be as effective as shooting the scene with the right settings. Let's start with the CPL filter, that's the one that I most often use. Uh, CPL stands for Circular Polarized Filter. Its purpose is to reduce the glare from reflected surfaces. It can also make the colors more vivid and contrasty. It does the job well. Unfortunately, I have no Polar Pro filter for comparison and perhaps the Polar Pro quality will be slightly better. There is a reason why they give lifetime warranty to their products. Uh, still, this CPL filter from JSR seems to be a good alternative that gives you better options for post-production. I usually shoot at the cine-like color mode uh, in the DJI GO 4 settings, which is giving me more room for post-production. It's because the colors look flatter and it leaves more room for applying LUTs on the footage without having to fight any reflections. The next type of filters are the ND filters. Think of them as sunglasses. ND means neutral density. It reduces the amount of light that reaches the lens and you can play more with the shutter speed. Many photographers are targeting shutter speed to be twice higher than the FPS for best looking footage I was filming at 30 frames per second, therefore my ideal shutter value is 160 
and I managed to keep it with the ND8 filter given the light conditions. Keep in mind that the whole video here is 24 frames per second as it looks more cinematic. Given the sunset I've almost missed, the ND16 was too dark and I had to keep the shutter at 130, which wasn't that great. For the ND32, which is apparently the darkest of all of them, uh, I had to pick different time of the day. One of the obvious disadvantages of JSR's ND filters is the lack of polarization, meaning that you can reduce the light but can't get rid of the glares. And that's where Polar Pro ND filters can win, because besides the regular ND filters, you can buy ND polarized filters. The last filter I want to show you is called the Star Filter and it's suitable for night photography. It is supposed to turn the light into multi-point light flares or rays and they are known as the star effect. It can be truly helpful with photos that are taken at night and because of the not too large sensor in the Mavic Air you should expect some noise. Keeping ISO at its possible lowest is the only way to reduce the noise but the quality it's not even close to what the Phantom 4 will offer with its larger sensor. On the other side, using the star filter can be a creative way uh, for keeping people's attention away from kind of noticing the noise. Well, that's the basics about lens filters. And the most important about this JSR 6-pack. Again, I didn't have the chance to compare them versus the Polar Pro, but for my limited purposes, this set of filters is good. Big advantage is that their design is not too bulky and they fit fine in the gimbal protection cap. Still, if you're not on a budget, there are many reasons why Polar Pro are so popular and uh, preferred by the DJI enthusiasts. Uh, on the other side, $50 versus $150. You know, which one would you choose? Well, I'm looking forward to find out what you think. Are these 50 or 60 dollars investment in filters worth the money? And are Polar Pro significantly better than these JSR? Any professional or non-professional opinion is highly appreciated and I'm looking forward to carry on with the conversation in the comment section below this video. It was great to have you here and now it's time for, you know, like, share, subscribe, enjoying life, bye, goodbye, see you again, cheers. That's it. Over. Over. Over.